Hey, yo, what's poppin'? Party people, I'm that one dude, Chris from YouTube, and welcome to Super Natural. This game has been floating around. It actually came out a little bit, like the middle of July. My boy Alex uh, sent me a reel on Instagram of somebody playing this, and I was like, this looks kind of good. And he said, this looks kind of good. You should play it. And I said, this looks kind of good. I should play it. It's a scary game. You can talk to ghosts. It uses your mic. I kind of like the games that use your mic. I, I like the games that, that kind of pull you more in to the environment. Like Don't Scream was one of those. Without further ado, let's uh, put into this shit. There will only be one auto save in the game. After that, everything that happens will be irreversible until you finish the experience. When you pause the game, the gameplay will not stop. You will only be able to change settings, but the game itself will continue. I designed it this way so that you cannot avoid fear in crucial moments. Death at the hands of a paranormal entity does not mean you will have to start the game from the scratch. From scratch. Although it does impact one of the three endings you can unlock, this game was created by a single developer and lasts around two hours. Two, two, I don't have two hours. Okay. <laughs> For best experience, make sure you play with headphones. Okay experience i don't have two hours i want to get all those endings though Detective Wyatt, man i can't believe i'm talking to you what's good gang i've been a huge fan of your work especially that sakamoto case the way you cracked it was pure genius your dedication is legendary and that's why i knew you were the right person to reach out to i've got this strange situation at my place that's been keeping me up at night well colton i appreciate the kind words Nice to meet you. Now, tell me, what's going on? It's about Mrs. Susan, like I mentioned in the evening. The lady helping my pregnant fiance, Kaylee, and me around the house. We brought her in because she seemed very lonely. She's practically family, living right next to our house. About a week ago, she disappeared, gone. Not answering calls, missing her usual hours. Disappeared for a week? That's definitely cause for concern. Anything unusual about her behavior before she vanished? Yeah, that's the thing. She started acting strangely, calling us by different names, humming these bizarre tunes. It really freaked out Kayla. She went to stay with her parents for a bit. I couldn't just leave Mrs. Susan alone. I thought maybe it's dementia or something. Can you look into a detective? I got you. Oh, and don't worry about Bashka. Hopefully, she'll That's your dog? be sleeping when I get back in a few hours. But I gotta warn you, she can be one noisy little girl sometimes. Uh huh. I understand, Colton. Now, I love dogs, and I'll start an investigation right away. You go be with Kaylee. And about the money, don't worry. You'll find Mrs. Susan. She's been like a grandmother to you two, right? Absolutely, Detective. She's been like family. We don't have much, especially after buying this house. But Mrs. Susan means everything to us, you know? Well, I'm heading straight to Kaylee's parents now. Please, give me a call as soon as you find out anything. We're really worried about her. Okay, few things going on. Number one. Damn! Begin your investigation by searching for clues. All right, uh, sensitivity may be a little too high. No, I actually like that. That's fine. Okay. To open and close doors, drag the doors. Are we really starting off like this? Firstly, this dog is snoring like she just worked a nine to five. Calm it down. Somebody, somebody get her something. You can turn the lights on and off by using light switches. Okay, cool. Secondly, does this guy like own a cooking show? Why does he have all his food spread out like this? Why is the trash just sitting out like this? How much are they paying me? Move the camera to find a clue to examine it. Hold, uh. Okay, that was my third thing. Why, what's going on with the storm outside? What the hell? This, oh shit. Uh, shit, 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 shit. Who turned the lights off? Lights, please. Thank you. Don't touch them again. So what clues am I looking for in here? Almost like my place. Really burnt 
carburetors. Like something's been burning here. Found all the clues in the kitchen. Okay. I did look through the um, the achievements list on Steam. That's how I knew that there were three endings. I'm not a completionist. I do kind of want to take my time and try and figure out how to get those three endings if I have the time for it. What the hell is this? What are these? Clown ski? What was that other one? Hold on. Ah. Ah. Okay. All right. Solid door physics. Solid. I like that. Damn! This is not even like the master bathroom either. Can I collect these? I feel like I should be collecting these. Fish ski. They're kind of just here. This is a nice ass bathroom to be the guest bathroom. I'm just saying. I'm kind of jealous. Like, I want to see the master bathroom now. Lights? Lights, please? Lights? I can't find the lights. Okay. I guess I'm going in balls deep with no lights. What was that? Some flash for interactability. Is it the paintings? I can't see shit! Okay. Okay. Hell, I may just say, you know what? Your house is done for. Like the ghost? Possessed. Your, your home is possessed. Let me take over. Cool ski. Am I really What is the point of these? Is there something I'm missing here? We got cool ski, fish ski. I don't think I need to be worried about ski. A ton of women's laundry. Uh-huh. <laughs> Was that it? She overlooked it or did she set it up? Overlooked too much of it for it just to be a weird coincidence. Overlooked the lingerie? I... What the hell is the point of the lingerie? Why did, why did I bring that up? Which one is this? Chicken ski? I can't see chicken ski. Yeah, that's the one. That's, that's the one right there, ladies and gentlemen. Chicken ski, that's my dude. Oh my god, it's so dark. Ultrasound? Ultrasound of a child. Probably the client's fiance. But why is it written here? How long do I have to wait? About nine months, approximately. A different date, same ultrasound. This time it says the truth will come out soon. Ah, uh, somebody was cheating. Somebody was cheating on my mans. Oh, another ultrasound. I have a feeling this case is closely tied to the client's fiance. Yeah, I, I think we kind of deduced that one in the guest bedroom. Okay. Does the guest bedroom have a bathroom? Because I. Never mind. Rabbit ski. What the fuck is happening? Mmm. Lights, please. Thank you. The Alpha. That's me. I'm the Alpha. Bat ski? Can we stop this? <laughs> Why are these just sprawled around the house? I can relate. Hey, somebody was about to get evicted? I hope everything works out for them. It's so hard to be young these days. <laughs> these are such random, like... All right, thank you for your input. Not now. Fuck do you mean not now? <laughs> that sounds a lot closer than it did the first time. Oh, no, 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 I can't see. I can't see. Lights, 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 lights. The child victim? God, please no. Another? Huh? These drawings are unsettling. Another child victim? What are you talking about? They have a child they didn't tell me about? Interesting. Why would you think that? 
In what way does that look? In what? Who? What parent would draw their child looking like that? What do we have here? Shark ski? I don't know what's happening. Why is it so goddamn windy? The child's room. Weird symbol. I wonder if it could relate to the case. The same symbol. In the kids' room. Okay. Okay. And what do we have here? Robots. Robot ski. That's my favorite ski. How do I turn the lights on in here, please? Please, I can't see a goddamn thing. I just want some lights. Do I have a flash? Oh, I do have a flashlight. Bitch, why didn't anybody tell me? That's what was flashing. Ah, ah, okay. All right. Oh, this is a dog. Okay. <laughs> We're good. Everything's fine. Can I leave? I want to leave. Remember that the circuit breaker box is right here in case I ever need to find it. Circuit breaker box is downstairs. So what is what is my objective? I'm supposed to be finding clues, right? Oh, I didn't go in here, I don't think. Wait, no, this is the guest room. Okay. This is the master bedroom. I've been in the laundry room. I've been in here. I was in the child's room. Okay, I think I've been to every room in the house. So now what? Where do I go? Is someone there? Hello? Is someone there? What is happening? Bro. I'm lost. Do I follow the sounds? Do I go in? Do I go investigating? Bro! Okay. Oh, hello. Um. The autosave has just occurred. There's no going back now. You have to face what you signed up for. Oh. Okay, now we're getting into it. No fucking way. If I have to chase down a password for another two hours again, I'm out. Forgot your password. Hey, Kaylee, if you forgot your computer password for the hundredth time, I, I've scattered your toy figures around the house, and I've labeled the boxes with your login and password. First is the chicken ski, then the cow ski, followed by rabbit ski. What? No! Okay, let me take a picture of this so that I know what order I'm looking for. Did I ever find Kowski? <laughs> Wait! Sharkski penultimately for login is the Sharkski and lastly the Katski. The password starts with Fishki, then Tediski, and Robotski second to last with a Coolski and finally a Clownski. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, so I've got to find chicken ski first. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Let's do this. Let's fucking do this. Cat ski is three. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna write the code down. I'm gonna I don't know how I'm gonna do this. So we do cat three. Oh my god, this is gonna take forever. Robotski is four. Come at me. What's good? Huh? Hey, how you doing? I'm not a little bitch. I'm stronger than that. I am everything. Shark is six. I've been here since 02, baby. Yeah, you can scream at me all you want. It's not going to make any difference. Hami. Uh, uh, 
Uh, you're not all that tough. You're not so scary. Cool ski is one. Chicken ski is six or eight. Rabbit is two. Fish ski is zero. Why do you look like that? Clown ski. Five. This is really unnecessary. I don't know why he couldn't have just put in the put in the notes that like this is your code. This is the login and the password. I don't know why he had to make it so difficult for you. I personally cow ski. Did I find the cow? I did not. Where's the cow? I guess now I understand why all these figures were lying around. Don't make me force it because I, I will force the code. If I don't find cow within like five minutes, I am going to just force the code because you're not going to have me search around this whole house, eating up all these jump scares while I try to find some- STOP! I'm also just now noticing that there is no master bathroom. The only bathroom in this house is the one downstairs. Oh, hi. Can you uh, by any chance tell me where I can find a cow action figure? A cow collectible, it, it, titled Cowski, I think. Rabbit. Hello, rabbit. Oh, uh, what's this? Is this supposed to give me a hint? I feel like this is giving me a hint as to where to go. Is there a cow in here? Or are you just flick flacking? You're not giving me a hint, you're just being a distraction. You're just flick flacking for no goddamn reason. As I was saying, the guest bathroom is really the only bathroom here in the house. And that's kind of a problem. I'm not one to tell you about the home choices that you've made, but like, you probably should have reconsidered that before you moved in here. So now you gotta walk all the way from the bedroom, the main bedroom, to downstairs to get to your bathroom. And that doesn't seem sufficient at all. What happens if you really have to pee? Like if you wake up in the middle of the night having to really pee. And now you gotta walk all the way downstairs to get to the bathroom. I'm just gonna have to force it because I don't think I found a cow. So the password is first chicken, then cow. Oh my God. I'm gonna try to do the password because we have everything we need for the password. Password starts with fish, teddy, robot, cool ski clown, fish. Zero. Ted seven robot. Cool clown. And then the login. Chicken, cow, rabbit, shark. Oh! Nine. Okay, cow is nine. Ah! Yes. Chicken, cow, rabbit, shark. You didn't scare me. Chicken, cow, rabbit, shark. And the password is fish, Ted, robot, cool, clown. 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 Huh? Penultimate for login is the shark ski and lastly cat oh i didn't put in the cat i didn't even see that three oh my god there we go all right bella what's good babe is kaylee home have you fixed her cam yet i was thinking we could have a little you know hour time while she's away why oh, do you hey look bella. like that yeah Kaylee's with her parents tonight. What's up? Seriously? You sound a bit off, babe. Is everything okay? I was really looking forward to seeing you. Why does yeah. she look like that? Just a bit tired. You know, it's been a hectic day. Tired, huh? You sure? You sound like something's up. I was really hoping to come over. What's the deal? Just need a bit of downtime. Mrs. Susan is missing. Mrs. Susan is missing? You're being a bit vague, babe. I was really hoping to spend some alone time with you. What's the real story? Look, it's just not a good night and I need to take it easy. Can we catch up some other time? Sure, but you're not fooling me. Why are you being so distant? We had plans and now you're backing out. Bill, it's not the right time. I promise we'll make up for it. I need to go. I, I 
catch up later. Kaylee won't be thrilled about this. So it wasn't Kaylee who was cheating, it was Homeboy. Homeboy's cheating. Switch cameras with previous next button and use night vision with the night vision button. Which which are? What are the night vision buttons? Nobody ever gave me any controls for this game. Okay, I just press N. Okay, I'm just gonna ignore that one. I'm gonna ignore that one. It's flickering lights out in the hallway. The dog is barking in the laundry room. What happens if I go to giggle? You know we gotta do it. You know we gotta do it. No? Alright, that one didn't work. Try that one. Nope. Alright, uh, let me see, let me see. Stop it. Get some help. Oh, be prepared for a jump scare? Turn your flashlight on. Ah! 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 Okay. I need to go see what the dog is barking at. What is it, girl? Oh, shit. You can use the internet browser on your computer to search the text clues you found. Ah! Crawler. 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 Shit. You discovered an article about the death of Miss Susan. This is a lot of reading. On July 15th, 2020, the small town of Greenfield, Pennsylvania was rocked by a tragedy that is that left its residents in shock and mourning. Eight-year-old Miss... Oh! I was like, eight-year-old? <laughs> what? 80-year-old Miss Suzanne, or Miss Susan, Suzanne, Susan, Susan Crawler. Please stop. A beloved member of the community had taken her own life by hanging herself from a tree in her backyard. The news of her passing spread quickly throughout the town, with many struggling to come to terms with the loss of, a such, cher of such a cherished member of their community. Miss Crawler was known for her kind heart and generosity towards others. She volunteered at the local senior center where she spent countless hours knitting blankets and scarves for those in need. Her neighbors described her as a gentle soul who always had a smile on her face and a warm greeting for everyone she encountered. However, despite her outgoing personality and dedication to helping others, Miss Crawler struggled with depression and anxiety for much of her life. She had been receiving treatment for these conditions, but it seems that even with therapy and medication, she could not find peace within herself. In the days following her death, the town came together to honor Miss Crawler's memory. A memorial service was held at the local church where dozens of people gathered to pay tribute to her life. Many spoke of how much she meant to them and how her impact would be felt for years to come. Two years later, the wounds of Miss Crawler's suicide are still raw in the hearts of those who know her best. While there is no way, no easy answer to the why, to why someone would take their own life, it is clear that mental health struggles can affect anyone, regardless of age or circumstances. It has, it is hoped that through Miss Crawler's tragic passing, more attention will be brought to the importance of mental health awareness and resources. Woo! Okay, that was a lot. Oh, I probably should have checked the cameras. I should have checked the cameras. Okay, I'm gonna die. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna check the cameras. What is that? What is the crunch crunching? Okay, I guess the camera's not gonna show me. I guess I gotta go find it myself. I gotta play the fucking run and find out game. Hey! Who's over here munch munching? How you doing? Oh! Okay. You met charming Miss Suzanne.
me again. Listen, just stay quiet for a sec, okay? I need to tell you something. So, I did some digging online, and guess what? Mrs. Suzanne died some time ago. Three years to be exact. Isn't this crazy? I mean, why didn't we hear about it right when it happened? Why have you seen her this whole fucking time? Something is not right here. It's like someone wanted to sweep it under the rug or something. This is all so bizarre. I need some time to process this, and you should probably see a shrink or something, unless this is some damn ghost business. I'm done. Don't try to reach out to me. I'm dead serious. She called me. So it doesn't seem like the, the mic works. The mic does work. Okay. What I was going to say was... So what happens if I scream? Nothing happens. Miss hmm? Susanna, in that contraption where after night er were sleep were slip slipped into sleep, our gaze intertwined, beholding our cherished TV series, just you, me, and our Boshka. Uh-huh. What the hell does that mean? Are you okay? I won't say a damn thing. What happened? I just want to know what happened. Oh, this is a clue. In our, in our, in that contraption where night after night, where we slipped into sleep. I'm er, er, I don't know what that is. Our gaze is intertwined, beholding our cherished TV series. Just you, me, and our Bajka. They're talking about the bedroom. torn piece of picture. Okay. I'm supposed to be collecting like picture pieces. I think. Bashka, help a brother out. What do you think I'm supposed to do? Miss Susan, can you help me? Why? Why are you like this? Why do you have to be so mean? I'm simply just trying to do my job. If there's something you don't want me to find out about, you shouldn't have done it. I'm going back to check the cameras. Okay, Bajka's in the kids' room now. In that place where each time I should have assisted you in cleaning our shared garments on the daily grime, if only I could rewind time. So that's the laundry room. How do I get back there? There's the laundry room again? Okay, I'm in the- wait, oh. Collect a second torn piece of the picture. Okay. 
So am I supposed to be able to naturally find these pieces or do I just keep on waiting for clues? Is there any particular reason I keep dying? What the hell is happening? What happened? Who killed you? Is that not working? Are you all right? What are the words that I can use? What are the phrases? Let me take a picture of this. Is anyone there? Are you friendly? Can you help me? Okay. Okay. Um, what do you want? So. Show yourself. That was my, that was my fault. I, that was my fucking fault. What the hell? Go away. She didn't like that one. She didn't like that. She was not a fan. There where I dwelled too long, crafting art with labor, yet destroying us in the process. They're talking about the, I know what room that is. I think that's the, the office that we just came from. The office where the computer is. Oh, yep. I'm looking at. Thank you. How many pieces? How many pieces do I need to find? Lead the way, Bashka. Okay, now I need to go to the guest bedroom. In that place where I never truly existed, where we were forged countless culinary memories. Where we have forged countless culinary memories. So that's the kitchen. Okay, guys, we're looking for a glowing picture piece. Countless culinary memories. Ah, oh, there it is. Where are you? Where are you? I don't think you really are though, to be honest. You seem to be more against me than for me. Bedroom? God damn! There's a lot of clues in the bedroom.
in that realm where you nurtured your flawless beauty, tenderly anointing your skin, your fragrance, your fragrant elixirs, your own moistened hands. I'm, I, I believe that's a bathroom. There it is. How many pictures am I supposed to find? Oh, okay, right behind me. Got it. In that place where it all ended, and I wander insensibly seeking you, my love. Uh, what? Oh, shit. Ashka, you gonna do a barky bark for me, girl? Ashka, Ashka's usually barking by now. Okay, I guess no Bashka this time. Oh, oh, she's back to sleep. Go down there. I don't know what I'm doing. What happened? Oh, 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 oh. What does that do? What does that even do? What does that do? What happened? Yeah, no, I get that, but what the fuck? Oh, what? Hello, this is an automated message from Pulse Grainer Bank. We regret to inform you that your mortgage payment for the property is currently overdue for $95,331. Please be advised that it is imperative to settle this outstanding payment as soon as possible to avoid any further complications. Your prompt attention to this matter is greatly appreciated. If you have any questions or concerns regarding your mortgage payment, please do not hesitate to contact our customer service department. Thank you for your cooperation. He wasn't lying about their financial situation. I knew it. He found out about the collector's debt. Okay. So what the fuck am I supposed to do? Bye. 
Ajka, you're not helping anymore. So am I just taking too long to figure out what the fuck I'm supposed to do? Is that why she comes back and kills me? I wasn't even being loud. Keep your voice down. There's like so what did I find all the pictures for? What did I find all the picture fragments for? If, is there a picture somewhere I'm supposed to be piecing this together at? Like is there a bigger picture that I put these pieces up to? Can you help me? Find pieces of my bed. Yeah, I, I thought I already did that. Do something. Eventually. Guys, I had to look it up to figure out what the fuck was going on. I had to look it up to figure out what the fuck was going on. And I, I'm really, I, I hate that I didn't notice this. We have this picture here. Oh my god. Throw wheel to rotate. Oh my god, bro. I hate that I didn't notice this before. Here we go. Okay, Holton. Oh, not that. So let's look up Holton. Oh my god. A hero sheriff's bravery. 40 years since. That was too loud. years since the daring rescue in Pennsylvania. In the small town of Greenfield, Pennsylvania, nestled among the picturesque landscapes and rolling hills, there exists a story of extraordinary bravery that has become a beacon of hope and inspiration for the community. This narrative involved, revolves around Sheriff Robert Halton, a man who, whose courage and selfishness came to define the spirit and heroism in the hearts of Greenfield residents. It was a chilly autumn night in 1982 when the local family was abruptly awakened by the piercing sound of a fire alarm. The source of the disturbance was their neighbor's house, now consumed by an inferno that threatened to devour everything in its path. The family trapped itself, faced, faced a dire situation with little hope for escape. In the midst of chaos, Sheriff Robert Holton, already renowned for his unwavering dedication to the community, excuse me, received the distress call. Without a moment's hesitation, he rushed to the scene, not in as an observer, but as a rescuer determined to defy the odds. Upon arrival, Sheriff Halton was met with a scene of sheer terror. The flames roared uncontrollably, painting an orange glow against the darkened night sky. The family, immobilized by fear, were visible through the thick smoke, desperately signaling for help with an upper floor window. Deterred by the intensity of the blaze, Sheriff Holton swiftly coordinated with the local fire department to create a strategy for the daring rescue. With the flames raging around them, the sheriff and the firefighters worked tirelessly to breach the burning st structure. 
as the first responders battled the inferno, Sheriff Bolton, equipped with a protective suit, charged into the smoke-filled building. Guided only by the distant cries of the family, he navigated through the treacherous environment with unparalleled determination. Finally reaching the upper floor, Sheriff Holton discovered the family huddled together in a room rapidly succumbing to the encroaching flames. Encroaching flames. The urgency of the situation amplified as he ushered them towards the window, the only possible exit. Amidst the chaos, Sheriff Holton met maintained an air of calm and reassurance urging the family okay all right so this guy's a hero cool. is that a ring at the door okay i'm coming damn going on here? I'm Detective White. Just conducting an investigation. Detective, you say? What brings you to this house, making all this ruckus? Folks around here can't get a moment's peace. My apologies, Sheriff. I'm here on behalf of the new residents, who requested an investigation into the disappearance of Mrs. Susan, the former occupant of this house. Mrs. Susan? Bless her soul. She passed away three years ago. Why would anyone be poking around her old place now? Well, Sheriff, sometimes these cases have a way of lingering. The new residents are concerned, and they just want some closure. Closure, huh? Well, I reckon that's understandable. But what's with all the noise? Ah, yes, I'm afraid my investigation can get a bit noisy at times. I'm just trying to leave no stone unturned, you know? Hmm, I suppose I understand. But if you don't mind me asking, why now? Why all this fuss over Mrs. Susan after all these years? It's my duty to follow up on any leads, Sheriff. And right now, my leads point me to this house. Well, all right then. I'll leave you to it, Detective. But try to keep it down, will you? Don't will you help lead the me? whole town up in arms over some ghost story. Will you help me? Help me. The local hero who bravely saved a family. Okay, that's great and all. How the fuck does that help me? Um, I'm sorry? Zoom and select to move around. And mouse wheel or left stick to rotate. Rotate what? What are you talking about? Oh. in this game like one bit i have no idea what the fuck i am playing anymore I, I don't know what i'm doing use zoom to select it's like what what am i selecting there's nothing to select I'm supposed to be selecting fuses. Or, I mean, I'm supposed to be collecting fuses.
to collect five, six, seven, eight, nine more of these. There's still no one. Why? Where are you? Okay, this fucking time, I won't let anyone escape. Sorry excuse for our family. Got what's been coming to her. You hear? Bro, wait, I can talk normally now? Get the hell out of here. to find burn this house down and close this case for me. In a stunning revelation, in a stunning revelation, Detective Wyatt unraveled the dark truth behind. I'm not even playing the game anymore. <laughs> Wyatt unraveled the dark truth behind the tragic deaths of Miss Susan and her husband. The culprit was none other than the revered Sheriff Robert Holton, a man of authority and respect in the community. Jealousy had consumed him when Miss Susan chose another over him, leading him to commit a heinous act of vengeance. Sheriff Holton's manipulation of local news painted him as a hero, disguising his own sinister deeds. He orchestrated the fire that engulfed Miss Susan's home while her family sat down to supper, ruthlessly ending their lives, but it wasn't enough. He went further, concocting a false narrative of heroism to cover his tracks. Miss Susan, far from taking her own life, as the fabricated report suggested, was found to have been pregnant when the coroner examined her body. Oh shit. The extent of Sheriff Holton's depra depravity knew no bounds. Yet in the face of such darkness, Detective Wyatt emerged as a beacon of truth and justice with unwavering determination. He pieced together the evidence unmasking Sheriff Holton's vile actions and bringing him to justice. 
When the police arrived at the scene, Wyatt stood amidst the tears, a hero in the midst of tragedy. Despite the pain and sorrow, his resolve remained unbroken, a testament of his commitment to seeking out the truth no matter how dark or, ha or daunting the path may be. Um, final thoughts on this game. At some point, the gameplay wasn't even the main focus. It was like, I, I felt like for a game like this, the whole thing was talking to the spirit and trying to ask questions. And I feel like that was kind of something that you didn't even really need to do. This mechanic was just here to kind of add to it. This game could have been completely fine without the whole mic tracking or, you know, like I... And I have no idea how Mrs. Susan and her like AI work, right? Because there were times where I didn't even say anything. There were times where I was completely quiet and she would kill me. There were times where she would start roaming around the house and I had no idea. Like, I don't even know what that was supposed to do. It, it my heart started to race. But other than that, like, what the hell? <laughs> I don't, I don't know. And in the story, so apparently Mrs. Susan had chosen somebody else over the sheriff and because he felt that he was such a hero because he felt that he had so much power she should have chosen him so he killed her but it was all covered up because of his heroic story that was supernatural interesting game the concept i feel of like using the mic could have been tweaked a little bit more i don't know how long it took for this person to make this game i don't know i think it said that it was made by a singular person i can't remember but there there's a lot of things that could have been fixed it wasn't a horrible game definitely gave me a few jumps in the beginning but after a while of looking around and not exactly knowing what to do and the game taking so long to make progress or for me to take so long to make progress it was kind of just like okay Jump scare here, jump scare there, blah, blah, blah. Where am I going? If you want to see my most recent video, I'll have that link somewhere around here. And I'll have YouTube recommend whatever you guys watch next. I'm going to get out of here. I love you guys. Stay safe out there. Take it easy. And big buddy out. Big buddy out.